Oh, well, I am now camped at a new location. I am camped outside of Valley of Fire State Park in the exact same location that I was parked in my last RV. There are people camping out there. So we're on BLM land right now. The Valley of Fire is just over that direction. So I'm gonna take my scooter off and scoot down there tomorrow, which is what I did in my last RV. <laughs> What I'm doing tonight is camped out here in the wilderness. But I do have a neighbor <laughs> over there, but this is a pretty big lot. There would be room for other RVs here. So I am going to stay the night here, take my scooter off and go there in the morning. So I got out of Las Vegas. I was really getting ready to get out of Las Vegas. It was getting to be just too much. I was there for three weeks. I had this incredible parking space that I had found. And I have a really awesome space. I found this on Google Maps. It's not far from where I was at before. There's this big wall right here with a motel on the other side. Just a long street here. There's an old beater RV that's down there. <laughs> like serious beater with some guy that's been in it. So I'm parked a little ways down from him so I don't look like I'm kind of associated with that. And then sometimes there's a car that comes and parks there. But this big open field is awesome. It worked out just incredible. Just awesome. There was a total junker RV off in the distance from me. I kind of kept my distance from it. Somebody was clearly living in it. And there was somebody living in a van just a distance from me, but it was a fantastic location. So I've been wanting to get out of Vegas for a while, but before I did that, there was something that I had to do and I really wanted to do, and it has to do with the interior of my RV. Since there was an Ikea there in Las Vegas, I got a little Ikea couch. So this is a 27 foot RV. My last one was a 27 foot RV, but this has what they call a mid bath configuration where there's a big bed in the back and there's a dinette and then there is the bathroom is in the middle of it. So I have a bigger bathroom than I had in my first RV, but the downside is that this thing never had a couch. And my last RV had a couch, but it didn't have a dinette. So I had to put in a little Ikea table in my last RV and it that just never fully worked. I like having the dinette. I like having that little office space, but I hated the little bench that I was sh sort of shoehorned into. So this area is an area that I'm gonna re-engineer and I'm finally just gonna do it today because I'm getting ready to get out of Vegas. And what I need is at Ikea, which is here, so I gotta do it. I'm gonna remove that bench. This area has always been kind of a stressful point for me. And you know, there's this little couch. There was originally a chair here, which I've removed. And I also took out an Ikea storage unit that I had there that was kind of big and bulky and it was falling apart. So I got that, one of those plastic ones, which is much lighter and my plan is to get this little Ikea couch, which I found. It's $150, it's 47 inches wide, so it'll come out a little bit farther into here. But when I remove that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna give me the ability to use that couch, either to move it all the way over or to bring it out. Let's say I have a friend over and I just wanna chat. I've got a little couch that I can do that on. That's one of the things I've never liked about this RV is that I don't have a proper couch. and I always feel sort of shoved in and shoehorned in there. So I'm gonna give it a try, but it means I've gotta remove that. So when I first got this RV, that was kind of flimsily constructed, and so I added some support. So I've gotta kinda of undo everything and break that thing apart. Worst case scenario is I just put a chair there, 
but I think that's going to give me some more flexibility. But my plan is to take that storage unit and move it underneath over there so the couch will be sitting out just a little bit, but that'll open that space back up, room for the heater, and when you know, come times for comes time for the air conditioning unit. I can put the AC unit right there, I think. So that's what I've got to do right now is to start removing this. It does have storage space underneath there, and I've only got a couple of things in there. So that's going to be one of the things that I sacrifice is having storage underneath there. But the little couch that I'm getting, actually, I can put things underneath it. So... I don't think I'm actually going to be sacrificing a lot by removing that. And it just really bugged me. And something felt incomplete in there. And I always felt like I would get in there and I was ungrounded. I didn't have a grounding space in the front of the RV. So for a while, I've been looking for a couch. So I did a bunch of searching on Amazon. Lots of little couches you can get on Amazon. But since I was in Las Vegas, it dawned on me that I could look and see if Ikea had something. And it turns out that Ikea had the exact perfect couch to fit the space. Yay, okay, so this is coming free. I had a certain amount of space to work with, and they had a perfect couch. In fact, they had a couple that probably could have worked. Okay, here it is. Oh, look at that. This is out, and I've got to find a place to throw it away. Oh, look at that. It's actually kind of heavy. I actually think I'm going to make up for the weight. It's going to be an, you know, an even exchange. Um, but you can see this was the original carpet in the RV that I removed and whoever owned it before me had put down this on top of, and they stapled it, they literally stapled it down. So next up is to go to Ikea and get the couch. I've got, I got Ikea's smallest couch. It's 48 inches wide. So fortunately the Ikea is actually really close to here where I've been staying. So I happen to be on the side of town where it's, I can, maybe two miles, just directly due east or west of here. I, I turn right here and then do head, just head due west, and there's IKEA. So I've already gone in and scoped out. It's 48 inches wide, which is going to fit that space perfectly. Oh, such a pretty sunset tonight. So I'm just going to go, I don't think I'm going to install it tonight, I don't, but uh, I toyed around with just opening the space up even more by just putting a chair there. I could have gotten some comfortable chair, but I've really wanted to have a proper couch. And here we come. There's Ikea, literally just like 10 minutes away. website said it was open until 9 and it's about 7-ish now. Okay, I'm just going to park out here. Man, look at those dramatic clouds tonight. And here I am to get my little couch. Hey. That little one would be great, but it's 300. It's twice what I want, but that would be great. So all of these and mine is right here. Okay, I got it. Yay. We're gonna see how this works out. 
I could always re-engineer that space with something different. I looked online like on Amazon. There were lots of small little couches there, but ah, you know, not being able to go sit on something and just read reviews to kind of see what people say is one thing. Uh, but being able to just sit on it and know is a whole other thing. And what it allowed me to do, which is interesting, is take a little storage area I had off to the one side and move it on the other side of the couch. Okay, so I moved to that storage bin thing over there that fits perfectly. The couch is 47 inches wide, so it'll come out to about there. And the great thing is, I'll be able to move that kind of backwards and forwards. So I'll be able to still sit here and work at the dinette. But if I just want to kind of pull it out, like if I have a friend over who just wants to sit and chat, I can just sort of shift it over. So it'll be more flexible. So it's a little bit harder to access the things in there. Like I've got some tools and stuff. But, you know, I only access those every now and then. And it's easy to move the couch to the side. And it just has changed that space. Oh boy, putting together IKEA furniture. Uh. So there it is. I decided to install it last night. I tried to do a little bit of filming, but it was so dark. The LED lights in here just don't produce enough light to really show up well on film. But it's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted a little couch functions as a couch as opposed to the little bench that was there that just felt cramped and tight and there was just I never had a place that I could sort of ground in this area and so oh, I'm so glad I did it okay so the one downside is that I had to put the little storage thing over there so anytime I want to get in there I've got some tools and things I gotta pull the couch over and uh, get into it it's not a huge big deal I feel so much more at home in that space right now, and it just fits perfectly. It's fantastic. I'm so excited about that. I got out of town. Traffic was horrendous, as it usually is going down through the center of town. It's always nerve-wracking driving through that area. So I'm getting ready to head out of Las Vegas, and I found this one gas station that has water. It's at the Smiths here. <clears throat> I didn't do this very well. <laughs> so I figured <clears throat> I would go get a little extra water, fresh water, and then fill up on gas and then head out. So this is not too far from where I've been staying. Okay, <clears throat> so right here. There's an air pump and a little water spigot next to it that I've already used once. So I have to get gas and then get turned all the way around and go back and use it. Everyone else is getting gas at the same time. Okay, so I gotta get turned around. I got gas and I have to it turned all the way around. Of course, some guy's walking right where I want to go. Tire hit the back curb. Dang it. Town, I'm out of Vegas. <clears throat> I am my plan. Oh gosh, traffic is awful. Yikes. Oh, 
sorry, Siri. Siri gave me directions and I got on the 215. <laughs> ah, I hate that. Siri is trying to get me to go on to a faster route, I guess. Well, I'm getting on the freeway, and of course, there's probably a wreck or something up here. Yeah, the uh, fire truck just raced through there, and I don't know how they're going to manage to get there, considering traffic is nutty right now. So I've made it out of the valley that Las Vegas is in, and I'm really glad to get out of that traffic was terrible it always is though so um, I've got a little ways to go up this incline out of the valley and my next stop is a truck stop that turns off to go to the valley of fire So this is the exit to go to Valley of Fire State Park. big enough for multiple people. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is exactly where I was at before. Somebody's in a converted schoolie. Okay. So I'm done, for, I'm here for the night. 